Hello Internet, welcome back to more of our Tower Apartment Rat series. I keep wanting to say Tower Rats. Uh, we've been poking out into the town here. Uh, it is daylight still. We probably should be working on tools. Uh, I think we bailed on the sledgehammer. So we'll maybe we'll go craft a sledgehammer real quick until uh, night falls. I think we got all the materials together. Did we make one already and I just don't see it? I don't think we did. I think we bailed on it because we didn't have the materials. Yeah, we made a chisel instead. So we'll make the sledgehammer. Which, again, I don't think is enough on its own to get... Man, that thunder is just crazy. I don't think the sledgehammer alone is enough to get into the lab. I don't think you can smash down the concrete walls with just a sledge. I think we would need a pickaxe, which we did not have the recipe for. Uh, and I did not yet look up what is required to make a pickaxe. I'm 100% sure it's craftable. I just don't know at what skill level. We have a fab of six, which you would think would be high enough. It might be seven, or it might be in a book instead of actually uh, learned as you level up. Alternatively, it maybe requires a different skill. I don't know why it would require mechanics or survival. It probably is just a higher fab or inside of a book. If it's in a book, that's a real problem because I haven't seen any libraries or anything in this town. Why don't we make like a real trip into town in this episode? We'll go check out the military surplus. Clothing, I mean, I could give a crap about the clothing. Office tower probably doesn't have anything of value. It would mostly be probably like soda cans and stuff in desks. Probably a good place to go if we were looking for sunglasses to make the welding goggles. Fire station could be extremely valuable. Well, I think we're going to check out the military surplus. We'll swing out to the fire station, I guess. Let's play it by ear. We're, we're going to shoot for the military surplus, and then we'll play it by ear and see where else we want to go. We are going to take our wheelbarrow with us, though, again, we will abandon it at the first sign of it being in trouble. Of it, uh, like, if it loses that wheel, we'll probably bail on it, or we might drag it back. I don't know. We want to clear some space. We really don't have anything we can drop. We could leave the toolbox behind because it's not likely to be very valuable. But if we come across something that needs metal sawing. This rain in the background is very annoying. I don't think we need the toolbox to get in the fire station or the military surplus. I just really hate the idea of leaving behind the toolbox. So we're just going to go with what we have in our pockets. It'll be fine, I am sure. Collides with the empty door. Yep, that's my mistake. Probably a lot of zombie density we're going to run into. We're going to do our best to evade them. We're not going to fight if we can avoid it. I mean, we can fight. It's not a big deal. But our equipment is not super great. Particularly on our legs. It's just our underwear and cargo pants which will quickly get torn to shreds. And then of course on our torso we have a t-shirt and leather jacket. The leather backpack of course is also at risk pretty much all the time. We did kill a lot of zombies in the last episode so I don't think there's a ton of density right here. But as we progress further we'll probably... Hello. I mean I basically killed you in one hit so we'll take the multi-tool. I guess we'll take the battery out of the game system. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn the volume down a lot in the editing because this is basically just constant rain noise. Uh, what vehicle is this? And what is that chasing me? Was that a kid zombie? SWAT truck? Very good. We're gonna pull around back. We're gonna try to kill this kid that was tailing us. Snot gobbler. Swollen, gooey looking mutant child looks bad even for a zombie. Maybe that's why it seems to want to hug so badly. Okay, I mean, I thought it was like slithering, you know, snotting all over itself or something. I'm going to turn off running. I'm going to kill this child and then anything else that... Oh, you're a boomer. Okay, I didn't realize we were boomered. Are we glowing? Covered in magenta bile. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll stand here and fight. I don't think we're glowing. I think it would say something else if we were glowing. At this point, we're equipped well enough to handle ourselves. So, gonna be guns in here. 
Really wish we'd stop finding 9 mil and start finding shotgun shells. But that's okay. All ammunition is valuable. Get items. P90 mag, not really very useful. Really don't want mags. M4 is pretty great. And light amplification goggles. Okay. Pair of battery powered goggles that amplify ambient light, allowing you to see in the dark. Pretty great. I don't think it has a battery in it. And I don't know what... I should have looked what battery it takes. Requires light batteries, which we did just pick one up. Why don't we, you know what? We're going to pop these on. And we're going to see how they work. Uh, we're going to reload the light goggles. Uh, yeah, let's stop just because. Okay, so pretty far away, not a concern. So let's try again to reload the goggles. And hopefully that is a full battery. We will activate the goggles. Oh, I mean, that's really cool. <laughs> uh, but it's not the range I thought it would be. I thought it would be like really revealing the area. Still pretty good though. And the charge seems to be just fine. Still at 100%. That's pretty awesome. So we're gonna wear these. I really like that. It looks very cool. Okay. Quite a lot of density there. Still at 100. So we're going to rush inside. And we're going to hopefully fight them at the doorway, if at all. Okay, they don't seem very interested in us. It's still at 100. You smash this. And we're going to turn off the night goggles to conserve charge while we loot. Why can't I see? Oh, because we're wearing light goggles that are not activated. Uh, Army winter gloves might be a good replacement for our rubber gloves. They're much less encumbering, although they do have few lesser protection values. Helmet liner, we don't have a helmet, but we can take. Of course, we might find a helmet in the fire station if we continue that way. Improvised field repairs, I don't know what this book would do maybe mechanics uh, because it's about fixing guns which is a pretty it's literally the one we just found because it's uh you know about the intricacies of repairing something seems like a mechanic skill okay a couple MREs not you know exactly what I would have hoped for from military surplus but it is something keep the light amplification goggles Drop the ammo. Yeah, I don't love that we... This is the third Remington we found, and they all only have, you know, one or two shells in them. We haven't found an actual stack of ammunition. We're going to drop the Remington empty, and we're going to keep a shot in our pocket just in case we need to uh, reload, in case we get into a real sticky situation. Yes. So you were all waiting for me to come out to ambush me, I see. Tortilla chips, cough syrup, cocaine. Finding a lot of drugs. I guess we'll take the thermos, since we're putting things in the wheelbarrow anyway. It's not a big deal. Dump this crap. We will wear the amp goggles, and we will activate the amplification goggles. Okay. Are you a screamer? Yeah, so... Wow, they really took that car down to its component parts, huh? Just an engine block laying there. So I don't know... I don't know what the radius on a Screamer is. Obviously, we don't need to fight them. We're just going to go up here. Looks like that Feral Runner's got a hold of us. Fight that before it destroys our wheelbarrow. Yeah, I should have fought you first. Before I started smashing. Okay. We don't want them to tear up the wheelbarrow. What is this thing? Alternator, not a concern. We're going to head off and see if we can uh, swing by the fire station. I guess we should mark the surplus as explored. Fire station could have very good armor items. In fact, it's pretty much guaranteed to have really good armor items. A lot of encumbrance to them. And we never did train tailoring. So we're not going to be able to resize them and things. Okay, quite a bit of density. Z9 could be an issue. We're just going to leave it. 
I don't want to deal with the density that's right there. And here's the fire station. A couple of folks hanging out. Man, it's still on 100% charge. Kind of awesome how long these last. So that's that's pretty awesome because we'll be able to wear these pretty much any time we make an excursion. Not sure how resistant. I feel like the firefighter zombies are extremely resistant to bash damage. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> he went down pretty easy. We're going to take everything for materials. Yes. You were not dangerously close at all. We're going to take most of this filthy stuff for the Nomex and things that it can be butchered for. Fire Axe is pretty great. Look at the damage on that thing. Brutal Strike, Sweep Strike, and Block. So that seems like that might actually even be better. Pick-headed axe. So this may even be used... Ah, uh, may even be used as a pickaxe. I don't think it would be, but we'll check it out. Nope. Drop all this. Can we activate fire axe? Okay, so you can't pickaxe a wall with a fire axe, which is fine. That's expected even so take everything uh, again because we can butcher these for nomex which we can use eventually to repair firefighter gear although i think you need a crazy high tailoring to do that i think we previously had a tailoring of like six and we're still unable to repair turnout gear which i think is super dumb uh but tailoring is going to get reworked in the near future anyway uh so that's everything. Why don't we pop in here? Oh, well, there will be a, like a Halligan tool right there. That's pretty great. Um, can we pop this? Why, why would we do that? We can pry the door. Halligan tool. Pretty great. Uh, also something that you would think maybe would be able to bash down a wall or something, but... Not so. Which is fine. Uh, they're a very heavy duty. A Halligan tool is uh, it's like a bar with like an it kind of has like a crowbar, not teeth. I think it's a solid piece, but it's like part crowbar. It has like a, I think it has a flattened hammery type end. It has, it's set up in a way so that when you crowbar, you can slip the. Man, I don't know how to explain it. It's it's a specialized tool used for opening doors that may have been warped by fire uh, or hacking down doors if need be, things like that. Um, actually, I don't know if it's meant for hacking. I guess it's prim specifically for being able to open a door that may not otherwise be openable. Um, just Google it. Don't. Why, why are you even listening to me? Just Google it. Google has. Google knows everything. But anyway, it's a valuable tool, and oftentimes in games and books, they are referenced as a go-to, a uh, go-to survivalist tool. Pretty much always good to have. I generally don't use them. I prefer the crowbars, uh, just because they're a little lighter and a little less voluminous. Um, but of course, they can be hung on tool belts and firefighter belts, which some people find acceptable, but I hate extra key presses. I hate having to take a tool off of a belt in order to pry a door because you pry so often that it's like I'd rather just carry it in my inventory if I can. Again, going to take everything here. All of these things have value in some capacity and we haven't really picked up much in the way of clothing anyway, so it doesn't hurt to have. I guess we ought to bring this in with us. Oh, we oh, it's full. That's not great. Oh, it has a really low vol. Oh, no, it doesn't. So why? Okay. They are pretty big, I guess. So we're going to remove some of the things that are less valuable because we're obviously going to want to put the clean gear that we find in here as well. So we'll get rid of the super damage stuff. Is anything fully broken? Okay, nothing fully broken. Dust mask can go. Man, I really don't know what to take. I don't know what the right thing to take is. Ah, I want to keep the safety glasses, though, because you need those for welding. So this is going to be boring. I'll have to edit this stuff out. So I've weeded out some things. I'm very not sure of what I should and shouldn't be leaving behind. But we can always make another 
trip. The book of the subgenius. Yeah, I don't care about that. Really not concerned with beverages at the moment. Oh, I accidentally tried to start a fire. Okay, quite a lot of you yet. Mostly what we're after is the clean gear that's in this fire truck. There should be some in the back as well, as well as these lockers. So, might end up dumping most of the dirty clothing. Try to take them one at a time. We really don't want them doubling up on us. But this is pretty much just push the button and smash them until they die. We're not going to look at gear. We're not going to look at gear. We're going to smash corpses and we're going to deal with the horde. Tore up the vehicle. A little bit. Flare gun. I don't think really has value at all. But we'll take it because it's a flare gun and flare guns are cool. Cash card we'll take. We don't need another Halligan bar. We're not going to take the dirty gear unless it's in really great condition. Like this vest uh, or this uh, flame resistant suit. Or <laughs> it's just too much stuff. So it is made of Nomex, which is pretty valuable for repair reasons. So we're going to go back and we're going to dump some stuff and pick up some other stuff. So now let's look at the clean gear. This is what we're really after. Hello, Zambi. Okay. Anything in the lockers? Helmet. Great. We don't have a helmet. So flame resistant gloves. Really good encumbrance and pretty okay protection for a pair of gloves. Not a lot of warmth though. Pick them, pick them up. Dust mask I could care less about. Don't we already have... No, we're wearing a scarf. And uh, I think the scarf is more valuable given the current weather. Water cannon is a launcher mounted from a truck. Or meant to be mounted to a truck. So here's what we're really after. Okay, there's water on the ground. Because these are in perfect condition. We're going to take pretty much every bit of clean clothing that's here uh, we're definitely going to have to make an additional trip because there's just too much here that's valuable can we wear any of this stuff to get it out of our inventory we can wear the helmet for sure let's lose the top hat uh, yes drop the top hat take off the turban and we will wear the helmet liner and firefighter helmet oh the helmet liner is outside Firefighter helmet, great protection, of course. Pretty average encumbrance for a head item. We're going to wear the helmet liner. I suppose the smart play would be to empty all the filthy clothing out of this and only take the clean stuff back for the initial trip, which is a little... which is fine. It's the smarter play. So we're going to do that. I don't know why I frittered away so much time trying to get all the dirty stuff into the wheelbarrow when we're just going to abandon it, but not going to look with too much interest at these things. They're all valuable, but most of them are not going to fit and they're going to be mostly duplicates because there's only like five garments that actually spawn there. It's like the turnout coat and trousers. I don't know if they ever come in a size that fits immediately. I think they might always be over like the wrong size because uh, they're so large in general. They're not really meant to be form-fitting gear. So I don't think we're going to find anything that fits, but we will look. All these are poor fits. Yeah, everything is a poor fit. It's fine. Again, I've never really had a tailoring skill high enough that we could fix them so that they fit. But since our combat abilities and our weapon are pretty good, we might be able to just wear the turnout coat anyway because the protection that it gives us is going to be so much more valuable than the negative from missing. Because if we look just real quick, let's look at a turnout coat. You'll see it has a protection of 6, 10, 3, 7, 6, uh, which are all pretty fantastic. The 30 encumbrance is horrendous, but... You know, if that's what 
you know, it takes to be super protected, it might be worth it. Uh, certainly the pants we will look at at some point as wearing uh, because they're great protection and I don't think leg encumbrance matters that much. I think leg and foot encumbrance may affect your speed, um, but I don't think that it's super, super noticeable. And then uh, boots, I'm not really worried about footwear, but uh, and these gloves also may be replacements for what we're currently wearing. Uh, even though the rubber gloves grant more protection, I really don't like having huge hand encumbrance. Although, again, I don't think that it affects very much. Uh, so, regardless, we found a ton of great crap in here. Uh, anything else? We checked all the lockers. We checked the little barracks area. Even though there's only two beds, there were about, like, ten firefighter zombies here. Of course, this will have tons of water in it. Is it drivable? We have wheels. We have some battery charge. We have gasoline, but it's a faulty engine. Why? Well, aren't they usually diesel? I really don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. So this could potentially start. Uh, I don't really want to be driving a fire truck around, but we'll mark it. Fire truck. In case we down the road want a tankier, uh, tankier vehicle to start with. You know, if we start crafting a death mobile or something like that. Anything else in the immediate area grab my attention? What is a public space? Is it just like a park, but not a park? Butcher shop. I do like the butcher shops. We could use some meat items, and I think we're close enough that it's in the reality bubble now. So it might be prudent to go over there before all that would spoil. How much space is left? Ten. And then we have about ten in our person as well, on our person as well. I think we will head over to the bar butcher shop. It's pretty far. But we'll make it back in time for sunrise. So we don't get caught out in the middle of the night. Man, these light goggles are pretty great. Oh. I heard a mu- Was that a music cue or was that the sound of fire? Because either way, it's a little concerning. Do to do Just going to ignore most of what we come across. Bunch of kitties. Which will surely be ravaged by the zombie hordes. This is another SWAT van. Security van. Oh, there's a kitty in here. Gold. Well, okay. Oh, uh, well, I guess we'll fight this. I don't know if the cats or if we drew the attention, but we really don't want them to smash our wheelbarrow and might as well kill them. Take a look at their gear. Smash them up. Uh, I mean, at this point, uh, how, how valuable are the empty batteries at this point? I don't know. We're going to take them. Anything? Nothing. Anything? Nothing. Okay. Hello, kitty. I could eat you, kitty cat. I'm not going to because cats are awful. And I bet they taste disgusting. Anything that poops in my house, not acceptable. Oh, Pitbull. Oh, that's a living dog. Pitbull mix. It's hostile probably because it was damaged. So that's unfortunate. Looks like we're going to have to fight the poor dog. Did we get a morale debuff for that? I know at one point there was a pretty big morale debuff for killing a dog. Well... That is meat. I mean, it would be silly to leave... Oh, you can't butcher in the dark anymore. Yep. I don't think dismembering... Little to no usable flesh. Well, it's dark. We're going to try anyway, just to see what it gives. We did get a chunk of meat out of, out of it. I mean, okay. Tiny scrap of edible meat. It's not much, but it'll do in a pinch. Yeah, but can you cook it? take it. I don't know that we're going to do anything with it, but we'll take it. This is the butcher shop. Oh, I bet this is the butcher shop with the dogs in it. Okay. I did make a butcher shop variant at one point that had a bunch of dogs in the back room. The back door was left open and a bunch of dogs have come in to eat the meat is the basic. You know, whenever I add something to the game, I try to have a story behind why I'm doing it. Um, so I Put some dog spawns in the back. So that's probably what happened there. I guess this is one of my layouts. It's tore up. I can't really tell. 
Um, raw brains. Do we want raw brains? Looks for one day. I do like the idea of eating brains. Chunk of meat will take... Some of this is going to go bad, of course. We're not going to be able to cook and process all this and keep it going in time. But they do... This is what I'm mostly looking for. Tins of meat and uh, jars of meat. Because they will keep for a much longer time. Oh, Chihuahua. Okay. So yeah, this looks like the dog version of the butcher store. Yes. Come on, pupper. Which again, you know, potentially could get some meat off of them. Yeah, see the back door is left open. All the doors are left open. I was also going to make a human butcher shop. All these go bad in a day. We're never going to be able to process all this meat in time. I was going to make a cannibal butcher shop variant. We talked about it on the forums. But they never added human organs to the game. Or at least last I checked they didn't. See, for instance, here's a stomach. This is a large one, so we wouldn't find this on a human, I don't think. But the the various organ meats are just flat organs. They're not human organs or animal organs. It doesn't specify. So I thought, well, I'll hold off on the cannibalism butcher shop until we get some actual human organs to add to the game. Because like, cause I could just pile up human meat in here, but it's not very exciting to just find heaps of human meat. It would be better to find, you know, like a shady back room or maybe a basement where they butcher people for meat. Uh, but anyway, so I think that's going to do it for this little excursion. I think we're going to head back to base. So our inventory. We, where, where do we leave our cart? Oh, we could maybe swing by this restaurant on the way home anyway, since, since we're going that way anyway. Actually should probably call the episode here. So that's going to do it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will be back with more Cataclysm uh, every day of the week. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.